Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a top player that many of you guys probably haven't heard about. You can see that he's approaching a 5 KD with a 27% win rate, 11 kills per game, 90,000 kills total, and over 2,200 wins, which puts him top four for both wins and kills within Warzone, which is completely different than we've seen from many of the other top players that we've looked at. They either have a ton of kills, not as many wins, or a ton of wins and not as many kills. So we're gonna take a look at some of his gameplay and kind of walk through what makes him such a good player. If you enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're brand new, wanna find your way back for more Call of Duty content, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Also a reminder, today's the last day for my triple discounted G Fuel code, which you can use the link near the top of the description or just code JGOT at checkout. So let's go ahead and continue through here. Pretty straightforward, and you can see his weekly. He's played 137 matches, and his KD kills per game overall kills is pretty high. So here's what I was talking about with the win leaderboards. If we just go ahead and sort this by overall Activision accounts, you can see that Iron is number one, OP marked, Shaded Step, which we've all talked about, and then we have Bonk at fourth, uh, which actually puts him way up here. And you'd think he'd have a little bit more passive play style, maybe do some recons here and there, even though these are incredibly good players. The play style is more conducive to focusing 100% solely on the win. And he kind of has a hybrid style where he combines kills while still going for the win at a higher rate than a majority of the players out there. So if we look at the kill leaderboard, you can see that he is fourth as well. So he's fourth for both categories, which is kind of insane that he's ahead of Frozone, which we've talked about, Huskers, Mutex, Headache. There's a lot of different people that we've talked about on the channel. It's just insane. Metaphor, um, Jukies. Swag, like he's ahead of all these players. Joe Wo, insane number of kills that he has on the board. It's just insane to me. So pretty much what we're gonna do is react to one of his gameplays that he yes, did sir, live on stream. Dog. He ends up playing a lot of times with subscribers, subs. Since he is a relatively smaller streamer content creator, he's not as well known, so he has the opportunity mm. to interact with his chat at a much higher level. So I highly recommend Going checking out his Twitch will be linked down in the description. And I will remind you again near the end of the video. And obviously you can see with the boat coming in and the lightning, this is very recent. And I usually like to get a recent gameplay for a couple <laughs> different reasons. One, we know that the meta is exactly what it is. If I go back a month, we know it could be completely different. He's still one of those players that uses the DMR uh, with an FFAR. So he does a double uh, rifle type right. meta. Um, but instead of doing like the M16, which I've talked about, he does the FFAR and the DMR um, with obviously the corrected barrels uh, with, with the stealth changes to the titanium barrel. So pretty straightforward. He lands over here at a train. And this is actually a pretty good spot to, to land. We've talked about it before. There's usually going to be like one or two different teams that land here. So that creates a total of like two to four players. And obviously he's trying to chase down this guy. And you'll see throughout the gameplay, ooh, we already got a self-revive. That's like awesome his teammates working his way through the map as well you can see the guys right here plays the position perfectly kind of it sucks that he has a shotgun only four shots pulls out the uh fr the famas and switches to the diamati no there's two kids on me there's two kids and obviously two people not kids but there's two people and he obviously has to play the position the right way his teammate was able to win the engagement I'm pretty sure the, the his teammate is just one of his mods that supports right the channel. And this is the first match right on. So he warmed up with some bots and then he jumped immediately into a duos match with, with one of his mods. Yeah, let's find and you can see player. he has his controller on screen. Obviously, you can kind of see what he's he doing. I'm not sure if he has an elite controller where he has paddles on the back. So when he jumps and slides, it'll show up as uh, A and B for jump and, and slide or crouch. Um, and then you'll see he does like the YYs a lot. Uh, a lot of the weapon shot. swapping here's type thing that people do. Bubbles. Reset the slide cancel when he's in full right. motion. So he's reset up, met up with his teammates, split the plates. The um, and now they're going to be able to get as, pretty much as fully played as they can based off what they got going on and you can see the guy was just outside uh the fact that he popped up meant that he probably fired his weapon you can see or now they got the uav so now they've seen everything so he already kind of has an idea you can see where he kind of pre-jumped it pre aimed it based off the the map awareness obviously you have these other people on the map uh, if we look here um in case people don't know that there's this guy here where he has a down arrow on his head um on the little red dot so that means he's below you and this other guy doesn't have a dot, so that means he is literally on your level. So you can kind of tell that where 
positionally where they're at. You can see this one on the edge. He has that little bottom arrow and this other one bottom arrow. So there's two people a little far off into the map, a little bit more towards the north that are below him. Even the crown has that down arrow as well. Yeah, he's right here. This guy didn't have a gun. When you when they kill him, you can see he ends up having There's a launcher. Right so that's why he was just trying to take off. And you can see the other guy coming up from the bottom. And they got to figure out how they're going to engage with him. He still only has that Diamati. has to reload. Gets one plate in. Let's go get this guy. And now they're going to go ahead and team up. So they can sure swap out someone. kills. A lot of times, if, if you're in a 2v1 situation, you can play a little bit more aggro. Because what will end up happening is right if feet. your teammate starts getting shot, then you jump in and anyone, the person, anyway. if it's a floor loot gun, they're going to have to reload most of the time and they're not necessarily prepared for you. You can go ahead and swap out of that engagement if your teammate did some damage. It ends up being a fairly easy gunfight. If they decide to thirst, then they're crosshairs aiming at the guy on the floor and have to readjust. And more often than not, you're able to, to win those gunfights. No. So he's trying to peek where the guy is. Obviously, they don't have a heartbeat sensor. The UAV ran out. They're going to have to start rotating. So since that guy was probably a teammate with the other one, he probably just bolted off um, to go loot and try and get his teammate back. Or maybe the teammate came back from the gulag and they'll try and gatekeep. Who knows what happened with those guys until you can get another UAV in the air. You won't know. Thirty-two meters. Two so guys there right it now. is. Two guys. He's marking it. Thirty-two meters. I'm gonna take the zip right. Giving the comms. Be peeking right above us. In like two seconds. They could be moving really further away. They've still been at the same spot. Uh, we can go. So that's go probably the one he killed around. earlier. The other guy went and got his money, bought him back, right and then they decided to push up together. So he's going to take the stairs. Obviously, the, the repel would have been the fastest way, but it's also the least safe way possible. Now they know they're in a 2v2 gunfight. And this is kind of where you have to figure out how you want to take this engagement. They could be pre-aiming as he comes over. He's probably got to get another chance to heartbeat before he comes. Yeah, oh, no guy's clearly visible. The other guy's down low. Doesn't have a line of sight. He jumps down knowing that he's going to have the high ground. Takes an angle. Pre-fires. Almost loses the gunfight, but he's able to kill the guy because the guy jumps off the roof. Gets a team wipe clean. Okay, Luckily, the guy didn't have self-revive, or it could have been a little bit of a tricky situation. You still would have heard the audio cues, but the fact that he was one shot, his teammates coming over the top, he played it about as well as he could. He went for the one guy, so got swapped over, here. good to go. Just plates here. So it was all looted up. The guy was just pre-aimed. He almost hit his shots. So a little bit of a slow start, but I know that at the end of this, he does go on a pretty high kill game. So obviously this is two teams. There's two to the right, and then there's one in the building, and there was one down low he just wiped out. Looks like the other guys fought each other because uh, one of them disappeared or two of them. He's in this ammo. So it's still one. Did he? Okay, that guy's farther away. Track it down, and the guy's in the building. It's pretty straightforward. Good, good use of the heartbeat. Couldn't really see the guy. Obviously, sometimes with the rose skin, that wasn't a rose skin, but the guy was down low. You kind of have to pre-aim the, the top right. Come back through. The guy's moved. He comes through. Oh they God. swap and bait, you know, bait and switch, and he's able to get the kill pretty easily. I got six plates. I could drop you some. <laughs> so now they got to really worry about rotating over without getting gate kept. Since that hey, is a buy like station in front of them, there's a high like probability that there's people in this area, in this week, next area right day. next to the line. I just happened to come in and see one. So he's going towards the loadout. He's crouch walking right here. And he happened Literally to spot right the guy the go around the corner. Yeah. And there's a guy up top calling the precision. Got snipers, careful. He's got to go ahead and move over. He calls out the sniper because he sees the glint. They're not bad. And immediately, a lot of times mm -hmm. what, what good players really have a uh, ability to do like. is they're able to spot when somebody's decent or semi-decent or they're just not all that great. Um, so just what they're talking. able to do with that is they can play the situation okay. a little bit smarter than most players. Obviously, with him having a 5 plus KD weekly and over Let's a 4 KD, almost, a, almost a 5 KD in general, 
pretty much any player they see, they can recognize pretty quickly whether or not they're a good player or below average. And that's why a lot of times there's run into issues where people are like, well, my lobbies are so sweaty and blah, blah, blah. So he takes his first guy out. He could have got destroyed there, but they were team shooting. So he was good for the swap out. Pretty clean play. Um, but what a lot of times people don't realize is when you're a 1 KD player, 1.2 KD player, even a 1.5 where you're barely, you know, you're creeping above average, everyone that you're going to run into is going to be near your skill level because that's kind of how it goes. But as soon as you get towards two, then three, then four, the separation, the, there's a huge separation. Obviously, Ka, Ka doesn't have the largest skill gap. Um, but people who've gone out of their way to become the best in certain areas, they've, they've separated themselves significantly. So pretty much almost everyone they're going to run into is a player that is essentially your skill level because obviously with skill-based matchmaking, engagement-based matchmaking, they can't throw everyone in this lobby is going to be a 5 KD. It just doesn't happen. So the vast majority in this lobby, probably between 0.8 and 1.1. And that's kind of for most lobbies. And then there's a... A chunk of people that are above just leave this area, high maybe. KDs, and then there's a, a chunk of people below KDs, and those proportions change match to match. But overall, if you have a 5 KD, 99% chance he is the best player in this lobby. And once you get to that threshold, you know you're the best player in the lobby every single time. So a lot of times, the only way you're going to lose if you get caught off guard, which ghost, corner camper, overpowered gun a Jeep you know in the buildings bad that, rotation whatever or, or or like i was getting to is bad rotation bad positioning on your end so all you have to do is position well you're going to win most of your gunfights, and that's what separates a lot of the good players is they don't tend to miss a lot even though they're, they're human so the they do make yeah. mistakes um and depending on wh whether or not they want to be super aggressive or focus on rotating okay. early will determine whether or not they're able to win the gunfights. Easy clear use of the mini map. The guy's looking away because he's in another engagement. Their bounty is probably who he's looking at. Um, so the, 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 he, you're kind of c catching whoever's behind your bounty. You know your bounty is still in that general area, so where's, you kind of got to peek it and see what's from? going on. He's in the big yellow building, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Live. He spots the guy on the left. That's where the DMR is pretty tricky, but the damage output for those headshots is still pretty high. So, and you'll notice he doesn't usually spam his trigger like to the fullest extent. Uh, he's usually kind of like tapping it with enough time for it to recenter um, with the slight adjustment. So it's not like he's losing control of the weapon because obviously after the nerf, there's a little bit more issues. Guy's able to self revive. He peeks the top hill, but he sees this guy is looking towards the left. Not you. So that tells you that there's somebody more towards his left area as well. A lot of times he got pinged by his teammate. He was able to peek it, destroyed the guy. He was low health. A pretty easy kill there. Good comms, good pinging. But you can see the, the, the guy on the top right where the ping is now, he was looking this way. So it tells you somebody's in this area and he happens to spot him. So a lot of times these subtle cues of where people are looking, what people are doing, their mannerisms or movement, or in behavior that tells you a lot about what's going on in the general vicinity. Obviously, the bounty in the first engagement, now the guy up top here, and then the other guy, it, it all lines up where you get the information mm -hmm. if you're looking for it and you're paying attention and you know what to look for. So, probably at this point, they'd probably get another UAV, uh, maybe get another bounty if it's one's close by, but not able to do it. So he actually got a precision. Ooh, interesting. Armor plates. Car. Looks like his teammate's low on plates, so he'll definitely need those to share. The car's rolling up. I don't think the car knew he was there. Maybe they knew his teammate was there? Yeah. He can hear the audio. The guy runs up in here and jumps up. You can hear the door slammed open. He peeked, peeked to the left, Damn. snapped on the guy. And that's a you good hop up spot so like what's crazy There's too is a lot of here. times these guys play the game so much that right literally here. they know almost every hop up there is in the game um just because they've either been outplayed by that months and months ago or they've like experimented try to learn and a lot of times they play with other top players so then they right learn these other hop ups over time Can we pop you? so pretty straightforward uh, sure. Looking to pop the UAV. Friendly UAV overhead. Where's he? 
I think bottom four. He's looking at. To fucking get in there, dude. So that now they're gonna just straight head strong. over to TV. The Jeep. There was at least one person. The health on the Jeep is still pretty good. The SUV. And again, they're focusing on the height level. Where exactly is this guy? He does have a little bit of an arrow above his head. So we're gonna take a different angle. You can see that the guy's on this right level on the top right. Based off of that, he's gonna you see the guy was right there as he called called out. You can see him right there. Pretty straightforward. He precisioned it. I think he was thinking his teammate was gonna push up because obviously you can't push your own precision. He's trying to throw a C4. He figured he had one at this point. Sometimes you get in the habit of doing that, and that's why people do that. They think they have the C4 on hand. The guy's down low. Somebody called in a UAV. He's looking. He peeks. Lands up on the head glitch. Sees the guy on the left. Takes him out. The other guy runs in. You hear the footsteps of him sprinting. Pretty straightforward kill. There's a guy on a quad outside. He just grabbed the bounty, possibly. Here, still, still here. More, more. I don't know if that guy had the bounty, but you can He's hear dead. him. The guy was on the quad. Nice. Teammate destroyed him. Dude. Team wipe. So now they got a lot of vehicles here. They have the like what three SUVs. They have the, the Rover. What are we doing? What a Butters. The Bertha, the quad, and they doing? have a heli. What a blow. I met Sci-Fi through Apex, uh, Jules. We used to play against each other on Xbox. So you can see that rover coming up. What are these guys doing? And the Bertha. Damn, just more vehicles. Don't ping that. Um... He just throws those down just in case somebody decides to roll up. They're both getting out. But you couldn't see exactly where they went. So he's just trying to get a different Showed angle. Himself. One got out of the truck. Oh, there he... Oh, I thought I saw him car. for a quick second. They're like both on this wall, I think. I think they're literally on the other side of this wall. I could be wrong, though. I, I couldn't see them cross over, but he, he did lose a line of sight. So it could be very like tricky of whether or not they move in. Dude. That's so weird that they're just sitting quiet. I think I hear him inside. Yeah, you can hear the footsteps. Like the guy jumped down. There's only one way up. It's the ladder. So I don't know. Maybe I could. That's try one to of the biggest problems with, with this building building. is there is only one way up, like he just mentioned. These kids are weird. It's where they just rolled up and ran in there. Be more vehicles at this at the TV station. Yeah, he's just talking about the vehicle situation. They're gonna end up having to I'm take off. To them. What he's doing is trying to bait their shots. His teammate is still staying up there. They're fighting down here, actually. Somebody else is fighting on the other side. I don't know if they you are. You can see the guy run across on the here. bottom. Oh, almost missed one bullet that he needed to hit the guy. The kids are still at TV. So he has him underneath there. Oh, yeah. He's able to live ping. His teammate got killed. Nice. Yeah. Cleaned up the kill. His teammate's able to self revive. So they're just destroying up the heli. And that's an okay move, but the heli has a lot of health. So right here, eh, about a third left. Reposition it, get a different angle. His teammate was able there's to self revive, but he wasn't able to get him at all. And there's someone else close. We're laying the comms. Obviously, there's a guy that he saw down low that he damaged. And then there's the other one between them somewhere. And the guy can't get up without hitting off those trip mines. They were in that doorway area, so it's kind of there an awkward be a guy spot. From down there somewhere. I don't know. The Cold War girl. So he's gonna Shopper's go pick up his teammate. Leak. And he's gotta worry about the chopper. Here, hop in.
and the the heli takes so much damage his teammate took a little too long to get up on him you can see that the other guy took off and then that means nobody's in this area so as long as he makes it out he'll be fine they both still still have gulag so they're in a good spot in, in terms of that um and then the fact that the the vehicles took off they're pretty safe it'd be different if people were gatekeeping like they rotated up and they decided to hold so this hill huge. he could have been in a very terrible the chopper spot. like takes so much damage so you can see there's no line of sight right gas. here it's so ridiculous. he ends up taking this angle obviously those vehicles went far left so this would be like the appropriate rotation try and get up so he peeks that edge sees if anything's there continues rotating across this little hill. So you can get in some tricky spots with these hills too medical tents right up top here his teammate died in the gulag so now he's got to figure out how he wants to approach it actually. you can see where those both of those vehicles were the bertha and the suv on the map you can see that they're probably like 200 meters in front of him on that left hand side so he's just trying to get up obviously this is the route he has yeah, to go definitely hitting the and plans, focusing bro. on trying to get in the, uh, the buy would. i thought they so it looks like these two guys are actually fighting two other guys like at a different angle because the way he was looking he was looking at a weird angle that he looked like he didn't notice him and you can see he's behind the vehicle he thinks his teammate split and you can see somebody in the the house to the left of them you can see it over here on the mini map somebody in the vehicle and then somebody else fighting on that left hand side so he comes out this guy ends up looking like he's gonna be aggressive too he jumps out bunny hopping but it didn't matter he was too damaged so there's still somebody uh, on the house right next to that scav that's on the mini map. Dude, he's going to rotate demon? back over here. He has 8,700. That's yeah, enough gone. to buy back his teammate, get a UAV, um, or get another streak. Self-revive. That works too. Could definitely come in clutch. <laughs> you get into a wonky situation. The the loadout will probably be contested. Uh, he's dude, on a teammate. The heli takes like vehicle I think that. Oh, no. His teammate's why. floating. There it is. That guy's really still in that house. Vehicles, so that was the house we called out earlier. And he ended up getting tagged. Uh, he could have been tagged there. The guy just uh, missed the shots. And now he's trying to figure out how he wants to approach it. He ended up destroying the dude. DMR is still good. Not overpowered. I think it's definitely balanced. It takes way more skill to use. Oh, shit. What gun is that? <laughs> that guy was like, what gun yeah, is that? I don't think I'm DMR. Loot, to be yeah, honest. so he cleared that out. And then you can see somebody still at the SUV, the Jeep to the left. Um, they probably left the Bertha alone. There might be and there's somebody else fighting. And you can see where the I'll, I'll precision, he's trying to watch, going to cover his teammate. You can see the they other just pulled up to the building. team just pulled yeah, right in there. You can hear the fighting. They're all suppressed. So now he's got to approach the gunfight the right way. And this is pretty much most of the game. So he takes out two. Pretty clean kills. They were low health because they just finished the other engagement. Here, you can Everyone buy, has uh, red access cards. There's Daddy apparently. Right here. Take the money. You can buy whatever you need. And here's pretty much the game. This is a fast right here. game. It will gone by really quick. Make sure you buy self res. So he's got to get plates, self revive. There it goes. He spots two running across. They're fighting perfect third party opportunity. Because that guy has to be behind the tree. And then he's, if he's behind the tree, there's. A, oh man, they're all revealing themselves. Third partying is so nuts in this game. When you could get a good situation, a third a party over and shooters. over, you're in a good spot. So you can see how he he's not necessarily holding up in a specific position. He's continued to rotate with his teammate. Um, and you're going to see right now where he focuses 100% on the power position. That's going to lead to the win. A lot of times people have no trouble. Like he said, get up on the hill behind us. Most people Watch don't have a tr thing. trouble getting to a top 5, top 10 spot. That's not the hard part. It's, it's usually figuring out where you need to be within that There's top 10 spot so that you can secure a win. Um, regardless of KD, kills, all that, most people struggle with that aspect. That allows you to at least get in a position to win Watch the match. The kids, um, so he's using this as cover. He's going to rotate up with his teammate. Might be another team they cycle there. all the way around. He know he thinks, hey, you know what? There might be another team it's up here. V1. Because they know the other guy's down low. So it's a 2v1v1 right now, I believe. Oh, 2v2v1. 
Only five left. Mm -hmm. Three others, so that's, yeah, a 2v2v1. Two two Somebody called in a cluster. It's a little sketch. He's able to peek out. Doesn't really land much there. This is where you definitely yeah, notice the bullet velocity around. changes with the, the titanium being gone, and you have to swap to the cavalry or whatever. So another cluster gets dropped on them. So you can see where it kind of went. This is kind of a dangerous spot for how close it was. But he comes out, I peeks, right takes a little bit of damage. He's just yeah. outside of range, is able to heal up. So, so now he made it a 2v1v1. Up here, up there it is. He spotted the guy on the left, pops a deadie. So the guy can't hear him. He sees the guy rotating around. Pretty easy kill there. Oh. Even though the other guy had the upper hand, landed in the building, shots. In the building. He ends up winning that gunfight. He saw where the last guy shot the from. Sniper, I don't know so where. now it should be a relatively easy on the thing. Roof. He tagged him. I knocked him. His teammate's able to self-revive. So he's able to, he has to push up now that he downed the guy. Takes an angle. The guy's going to be low health. He has to push off the building or at least to the edge because of the way the gas is. He's gonna be he could have played this a little different. That no, guy could have jumped off him. and then angled it down low because <laughs> since they would have expected it up, the guy could have cleaned up. So he ended up with 26 kills. His teammate only ended up with three. A pretty solid match. I highly recommend going and checking out Bonk. He's a top-tiered player, able to still interact with chat uh, because he's not as well-known as some of these other big streamers. So definitely go check him out. Link will be near the top of the description. Let him know I sent you. If you do enjoy the videos, please let me know by hitting the like button. Go on today's video's 4,000 likes. If you're brand new, looking to find your way back, double check, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also a reminder, my GFO code is still triple discounted till the end of the day, February 22nd, if you're looking to try it out uh, for the first time or restock at a discounted rate. Appreciate all supporting the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.